Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the second essential role of a typical flower, which is the gynoecium. So let's look into the second essential role of a flower. This is the female reproductive part. As we discussed earlier, the androecium, those were the male reproductive flower of a flower, of a typical flower, whereas the gynoecium, they are the female reproductive part of a typical flower. So, these gynoecium, they are also known as the pistil or the carpel. A typical carpel or the gynoecium, it is made up of three important or three different parts. What are those? The stigma. So, here in this picture, you can see the stigma, it is the outermost part of a typical uh, gynoecium or the female reproductive part. This is the stigma. This is followed by the style, which is the filamentous part, which at attaches the stigma and the ovary. And this ovary, this is the innermost part of a typical flower. So, uh, the gynoecium, it is made up of three parts. It is the stigma, outermost part, then is followed by the filament part, which is the style and the innermost part, which is the ovary. This con consists of the, uh, the female reproductive structures of in the ovary or the female gametes, which is the ovule. Now, we will look into these three structures in detail. So, first, let us start our discussion with the stigma. Stigma, this is present at the tip of the female reproductive structure. So, as you can see, this is a uh, zoom in structure of a typical stigma, right? So, this white colored portion which we are seeing, this is the stigma of a flower, right? And this green colored part, this is the style. So, stigma, this is the outermost or the tip portion of a female reproductive structure. They may be lobed, they can be funnel shaped, they also can be branched and feathery. The surface of the stigma, they can be hairy, they can be sticky, smooth or rough. So, why these type of modifications is present in these uh, surface of the stigma? Because of the fact that they need to carry out pollination. In order to carry out pollination or successful pollination, they need to trap the male uh, gametes that is the anther, that is the pollen grains which is coming from anther. So, how they are going to trap? So, in order to trap, that is the reason they are hairy, sticky and mostly uh, they have structures which can easily trap these type of flowing uh, pollen grains from air, water or different pollinating agents. So, hence the surface of the stigma in, is in these type of forms. Next part is known as the style. Style is the slender projection of the ovary. This is the filament part, right? This is the slender portion of the ovary. So, this is meant for raising the stigma for pollination. You can see over here, this style, this is raising the stigma in order to, uh, so that it can get lower, more surface in order to trap the pollen grains. So, if it raises above the flower, then it will be exposed to the pollinating agents easily and they can easily trap the pollen grains or the male reproductive male gametes, right? So, they are connected to the ovary and the stigma. So, this is basically the connection between the stigma and the ovary. The third part is known as the ovary, which is the, the most essential part of a female reproductive structure. This is the enlarged basal part. So, you can see over here, a cross-sectional view of the ovary has been shown over here. So, this is the ovary, which is present the innermost part of the female reproductive structure. It contains one or more chambers. So, it can have multiple chambers. It bears one or more ovules attached to the placenta. So, here in this picture, you can see the green portion, this is the placenta over which is attached this black colored portion which are the ovules or the female reproductive structures. Female gametes are present in the ovule. The wall of the ovary after fertilization, it is known as the pericarp. It is, it forms a part of the fruit that is the outer covering of the fruit. This is being made by the wall of the ovary. So, this wall after fertilization, it gets transformed into the outer wall of a fruit which is known as the pericarp. Now, the ovary develops into a fruit after fertilization, whereas the ovule which we are seeing over here, they develop into seed after fertilization. So, in this uh, video, we have talked about the second important role of a flower, that is the essential role of a flower, which is the gynoecium. We have talked about three important parts of the gynoecium, that is the stigma, style and ovary. I hope you have understood and liked this video. Thank you.